Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Joseph Tubb. Today is my second video in my new five-part series where I show you from start to finish the process that I take to create a painting. So what we're going to do is we're going to prep a canvas. The thing about canvas is it's a heavy-duty fabric and it's perfect for painting but it's a porous material. So what this means is that when we apply the paint pens to it, the paint's going to immediately soak in. And this is bad because it's not going to give us the chance to blend the paint. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to show you the materials that you're going to need. It's pretty simple. It's only three things. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is a canvas. The second thing you're going to need is a brush. And the third thing you're going to need is some gesso. So let's talk about the canvas real quick. Uh, for this video, I'm using a 9 by 12 canvas. This is a, um, let's see, they're considering it a medium texture. And for the sake of the, the, the video, I'm, I'm going to do a 9 by 12. It's a smaller canvas, but everything that I do in this video can be applied to a much larger canvas. The next thing is a brush. Um, try to use a good brush. This is, this is actually a painter's brush. It's a 2 inch brush um, that you can get at like a Sherman Williams store. Um, I'm sure art stores have you know some really good ones. It's good to use a good brush because you don't want the bristles to come off and get stuck inside that you know that first prep coat. And the third thing that we're using is well, I'm using a Liquitex surface prep gesso. Uh, I like the the more I guess this is considered the S because it says S, but uh, this one's more I like to go with the more fluid. If you if you read on the back. It shows the different, uh, I guess the different levels here. And I've tried other ones that are thick. Um, this one's great for for the pens and just for prepping canvas for me because uh, the thick ones, it's just harder to get a smoother surface and this is great. It has a matte finish um, and it's opaque. So if you make any mistakes, you can actually use this to, to correct your mistakes. So this is a good, this is a good uh, surface prep right here. So let's go ahead and, and jump in here. We're gonna pull off the peeling. And you're gonna immediately see, I think every canvas comes with these things. Um, I've never really used them, but I've always heard that they're used to, uh, you know, like I guess if you're doing some serious painting, uh, your canvas can sometimes get a little, I guess, soggy. <laughs> and it starts to weigh down so what you can do with these things is I guess you can plop them in the sides and it'll help tighten up your canvas but I've also heard that if you spray water on the back that um, it'll help tighten it back up so this is our canvas I'm just gonna shake up the gesso just to just to get it going just to mix it up I don't really think it's any two-part material but I like to shake paint up anyways and uh, this is gonna be really easy what we're going to do is we're just going to apply the gesso directly onto the canvas and we're just going to move it around and try to get it as flat and smooth as possible. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so we're just going to pour this on. So there's no real special technique here. It's just really just get the, get the gesso all over the canvas to start. Uh, don't forget about the edges. I tend to forget them most of the time. Uh, you know, we want to get the whole thing covered. And what this is doing is it's actually filling in those pores so that uh, it's actually sealing the canvas. So that when we go to use those pens, you're going to notice that it's going to take a little bit longer for those paint pens to dry. And that's a good thing. That's going to give you enough time to, to get the blends and you're not going to have to work as fast. So this is great for, for people who are beginning and they really want to get the blending process down. And what I'm doing here is I'm just lightly, lightly brushing the top of the canvas. This is what's so great about this, uh, this type of gesso because it's so fluid that it goes on the canvas really nice. And what I can do here is I can feather it in. This helps for it to dry smoother and um, it just makes it so much easier. And then I'm going to wait about 10-15 minutes or so uh, for it to dry. 